Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jivan Tamang and in this video guys we're going to be reacting to reasons why SB19 have hate So let's go for the guys I like to plug in my nothing. Uh, without any doubt guys, let's just get into this reaction. I mean, their music may be freaking incredible and we won't deny that. But there's a growing undercurrent of resentment toward SB19 and their fan base. So let's dive into the real reasons why people are hating on SB19. Sit tight, you guys. This is gonna be crazy. Parang mga boys sa palengke. Yung naka-orange mukhang nagtitinda ng tira pa. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha! Feeling K-pop tong mga to. Di bagay sa inyo, mga Wala kayong originality. Ha-ha-ha-ha. Pangit ng SB19. Mukhang tatay. That's kind of funny. First off, let's talk about their fans. 18 is almost like a secret society of millionaires in disguise. I mean, lawyers, nurses, architects, engineers, business owners, you name it. Every SB19 concert is a success. Tickets sell out and the merch, gone in 10 minutes. This even causes problems for the brands they endorse. I just drove to a nearby McDonald's earlier today, waited in line and found out I couldn't even get my hands on that chicken meal. Seriously? A branch that always has chicken in stock was suddenly sold out not even 48 hours after they announced their partnership at the time of making this video. Brands like Acer, McDonald's, Lucky Me, and all their other partners are going to see their sales skyrocket, and it's all because of those darn SB19 boys. I've not watched this ad. This and McDonald's ad, I've not watched it. Crazy fan. Oh, so you want to mess with SB19? You'll have to go through 18 first, and trust me, you wouldn't want that on your resume. This fan base is clearly on a mission to conquer the world, one fan vote at a time. Other fandoms are scared of them, and I don't blame them. These fans are so dedicated that, according to some, they may be fewer in number, but mighty in power. Other fandoms are literally so threatened by them that they join forces just to try to kick them out of fandom wars. But their ability to unite and strategize is almost as impressive as military operations, leaving people scratching their heads, wondering what these fans are doing, even calling them bots. Which honestly is nothing but a compliment. SB90 members are selfish? What? These guys are ridiculously talented. It's like they've cornered the market on every skill known to man. So basically this is a sarcastic way to deal with every hate comment, From right? singing and dancing to songwriting and producing, they do it all with effortless perfection. I mean, how are we supposed to compete when they're basically superhuman? Each member of SB19 is incredibly talented on true. their own. True, true, true. In fact, all of their solo careers are thriving getting invited as special guests and receiving standing ovations from veteran artists these boys ate and left no crumbs you know the song that i actually uh listen to uh on repeat or you know like really enjoy is uh, josh's this what did what is the name of the song i forgot uh, this da, 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 da. I forgot the name. Ah, but I love this song so much. Especially the remix. Look at the fans, brother. I 
love the fake faces. Among the most infuriating things about SB19 is their uncanny ability to make people envious. They were the underdog, the ones everyone counted out. They were mocked and told to their faces that they wouldn't amount to anything. And yet, here they are conquering the world. It's almost as if they're rubbing it in our faces. <laughs> Oh uh, now the winner of AA Hot Trend. SB19. Uh, hello everyone, we're SB19. Uh, yeah. Um first and foremost, I would I like to thank God accent, for giving us a strength to get through everything. And of course giving us 18. You guys are the best. We love you all so much. Um also, uh, we would like to thank um, our managers and our staff who is always behind us. How dare they promote Filipino talent on a global scale and make us proud to be Filipino. They've faced challenges, sure, but they've overcome them with such grace and humility that it's infuriating. How dare they be such positive role models and inspire millions of people? Shouldn't they have just given up after a few years of struggle? How could they not have the classic never, Filipino never, never, never. mentality <clears throat> and still have the nerve to promote OPM while wishing other groups even more success than themselves? This is such a big milestone for not just for SB19, but for every Filipinos out there. Uh, we can say that we can say that we made it and we'll keep on um, achieving our dreams. And thank you so much, especially to 18 and all of the people who have been supporting us from the very beginning. 18, this one's for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We love you. Uh, thank you again. We're SB19. Thank you so much. Thank you. SB19 makes people... Isn't this the same reason as Last envious week, and angry? Kind off, of similar. They're annoyingly positive. No matter how much hate or negativity is thrown their way, they just smile and wave. It's oh, honey, like I will not be able to do that. You gave me negativity, how can other people I will take it, make it tenfold, and give it back to you, bitches. Positivity and kindness. It's infuriating. So, we actually, he's gotten a little bit more, you know, like, um, he's gotten a bit more chubby, I guess. Um, chubby is not really the right word, but uh, he's not as lean as he used to be. I guess every member is not as lean as they used to be when you really think about it, right? Like, they look incredibly lean. I guess Ken is the one who looks kind of the, Ken and Josh, but the, these three, they've gotten a little bit more built up. And that that have really, you know, like they look even better. So more exposure for them, it is more exposure for us. But we are not going to be that same. SB19 makes people so mad because no matter what issues or mockery are thrown at them, the boys still advocate kindness towards those who badmouth them. Ah, oh, oh. 
Oh, pero ginagamit para pang kinis lang. Pero nagagawa na ano yung ibang tao na natatamaan nila ibang tao. Saan nang gagaling sa nila na pupulit yung mga sinasabi nila? I mean, kami po, kumbaga, wala naman po kami ginagawa ng masama. Kumbaga, ginagawa ng kung namin yung masama. Kung saan paraan po kami nag-enjoy at kung saan po kami nag-excel sa tingin po namin. Pero bakit po kailangan may mga ganun sa tingin po? Well, that's the thing, you know, if you are popular, you're gonna have haters. It is inevitable. It is never, never inevitable. No, there is nobody who has zero haters. And if you're pop, and you, I mean, if you do not have haters, you're not successful enough. I've all, always said that. Why Pablo? Why they are daddies. Tatay, tatay. Siyempre, mga gano'n naman po. Uh, binabasa namin, pero hindi naman po namin siya sinasapuso. I mean, labas din kagad. Hindi naman kami nag-hold ng grudge sa mga gano'ng klaseng comment. Kasi, ano eh, kasi parang wala lang rin naman eh. Kasi di ba parang ma aanhin namin yung negatibong salita nyo kung mas kilala naman namin yung sarili namin. In fact, they even call out 18 who cause trouble online or in person. Can you imagine how furious those people must be because they can't get a negative reaction from the boys? It's so hard to create chaos when your target just stands there, takes it all in, and then when you're finished, shakes your hand and wishes you well. <laughs> I mean, what the heck? May kailangan pa natin gumawa ng mga masasakit na salita towards, towards dun sa taong may nagawa ng mali. Or actually, hindi nga mali eh. Ang sa akin lang naman po talaga, yung, mag, yung maayos na pakikipag-usap, maayos na mga salita na sasabihin natin sa iba, yun yung nagmamatter. Kasi hindi mo pwedeng batuhin ng apoy, ang, ng apoy, ang apoy pa. So, mas lalo siyang sisiklab. Ayaw po namin talaga, especially mo sa fan, fandom po namin galing. Ayaw namin na may ginagawa silang mga bagay na at the end of the day, sila lang rin yung maapektuhan. Tama naman. Diba? Siyempre, kung yung mga, kung sila, ayaw nilang naapektuhan kami, kami rin naman, ayaw namin naapektuhan sila. So, parang alam niyo sa family, siyempre, ano yan eh, pagtatanggol niyo yung isa't isa. Tama naman. So, parang nagsalita na kami kasi feeling namin, out of hands, out of hands na siya eh, lumalaki na yung... Just to calm yun. everybody yeah. down. Hindi, hindi sa dahil kinakampihan namin yung side namin. Actually nga, mas hindi ako kampi doon sa ano na. Kasi nga, sinabihan ko talaga na I don't tolerate. So, there you have it. A brutally honest look at why some people are hating on SB19. Also, guys, we made it to 5,000 subscribers. Thank you. I guess that's it. Video. Absolutely. Episodes dedicated to. Alright, guys, that was this video. That was my reaction to the reason why SB19 have haters, and those reasons were BS. And let me know what you're favorite about and I'll meet you guys in the next reaction video. Bye.